So on to question seven, and we'll do it just like question six. We're going to realize that we don't have a y value all by itself. Like remember in question five, once again, we had a y isolated. And that's why the table method worked out really well, because we just threw up a table and we could plug in values for x and calculate y's and draw the, the line. But we came on to question six, and we realized, oh, we don't have a y isolated, so we use the xy intercept method, and it worked out well. We'll do the same thing here for question seven, okay? And the xy intercept method is this, and you can all do it. And really, I think if you're familiar with solving equations and plugging things in, which hopefully you are by now, right? All you gotta do is this draw a table with x and y. Just go ahead and write that down. Can you do that? Okay, and then do this. Put a zero here for x and put a zero here for y. Can you do that? And my thing is, you know, if you've solved equations and plugged things in a little bit up until now, which you should have, that kind of solve, you should be able to get it from there. I mean, you should know what to do. I have confidence that you will know how what to do now, okay? If you've got this far. Because the rest is, the rest is just review. Okay, we know how to plug things in. Like x is 0, we plug that in for x in this equation. So when x is 0, we just go 8y plus 2 times 0 equals negative 4, and we solve that. Okay? Right? And you just do one step at a time. Don't be plugging this in, and you'll get them all mixed up. Don't try to do two at once. One thing at a time. Take your time and you'll be fine. So this gives us 8y and this is 2 times 0, that's just 0, so 8y equals negative 4, right? And so now what do we do? Divide both sides by 8, right? And we get y equals negative 4 over 8. That's a negative over positive, which is a negative number. What's the fraction? 4 to 4 goes once, 4 into 8 goes twice, the fraction is 1 half, so we have negative 1 half. Now when x is 0, we plugged it into x in the equation, we solved this and it said y is negative 1 half. What it's telling us is that for this equation, when x is 0, y is negative 1 half, right? Now do it for y is 0. So 8y plus 2x equals negative 4 would be 8 plug 0 in for y, right? So 8 times 0 plus 2x equals negative 4, right? Plug 0 in for y and then calculate that. What do you get? Well, 8 times 0 is just 0, so we have just 2x on the left equals negative 4 on the right hand side. And what do you do now? Divide by 2, because it's 2 times x, so to undo that you need to divide. Right? And so we have x equals, what's negative 4 over 2? That would be negative 2, right? So when y is 0, x is negative 2. When y is 0, x is negative 2. So for this equation, when y is 0, x is negative 2, and that's another point, right? So we have the point, these are points, we have 0, negative a half, we have negative 2, 0, right? And which is the x-axis, which is the y-axis? This is the x-axis, isn't it? And this is the y-axis, right? So where's the point 0, negative a half? x is 0, y is negative a half, that's there, isn't it? Where's the point negative 2, 0? x is negative 2, and y is 0, and that's that point there, right? And so there's our points, and of course, because we've got this fraction, it's, it's actually not that easy to graph it, really. But you've got to know that this line is going to also go through here, isn't it? Right? It's going to go through this point here, and that point actually is um, 2, negative 1. So you got to be able to see that that's going to go through the point 2, negative 1, okay? 
and then it's going to continue its path it's going to go through another half and, the, and then here see it's a straight line so it's going to continue the pattern in fact it'll also go through the point x is 1 2 3 4 5 6 x is 6 and y is negative 2 that's another one it's going to go through so you can see the pattern just by looking at the graph right and so that's the the line there right and we put an arrow in each end to show that it goes on forever in each direction and that's the line 8y plus 2x equals negative 4 right 